Welcome, welcome, my viewers and my listeners of the program. Celebrate your moment with joy. This is Pastor Florence. I want to take this opportunity to thank God for you for the time you take to listen, to watch, to share, to practice, and even to pray for me. And maybe you are saying, Pastor Florence, I don't even pray for you. That's okay. I am reminding you. You know, the book of Deuteronomy has so many chapters, and it's about reminder. So I will keep on reminding you because I covet your prayers. How do you pray for Pastor Florence? EGR, extra grace required so that I can be able to do what God has called me to do. And I do it with a lot of passion and a lot of joy. Can I also say that? <laughs> Celebrate your moment, you don't just start like that. It was a struggle. I struggled in my life. You might have struggled in your life, but something can be born out of struggle. And God took me the story of this children of the Israelites, how they complained because of the problem which were you, they went through. They complained, they complained, and me too. Remember, I was a Christian, I was still serving God. You could be there, still serving God and struggling. But there is a time that reaches. It is like, wow, the egg of a shell breaks after 21 days and boom, a chick come out of it. There will be a chick of ministry that will be born in you because all of us have been called. All of us have been ordained in Jesus' name. We are in the month of February, the month of love. And I will continue to remind you about it before 14th or Valentine's Day that God loved you so much that he gave his best. Now, that was just an introduction, Chagamoto, you know. My weekly schedules are Monday through Wednesday, I bring inspiration word. Thursday, celebrating in the kitchen. Because what we put in this body, what we do, how we dress, the makeup we use, <laughs> matter, matter a lot because we are the temple of the Holy Spirit. Fridays, putting on the right gear for the weekend because you, you are responsible of putting on the gear of integrity, putting on the gear of focus, putting on the gear of determination to do what God has called you to do. Saturday, Sunday, I take a break so that those who go to the, to the house of worship on Saturday, they can have a chance. And those who go to the house of worship on Sundays, like myself, we can have a chance to go to the house of God. Not just going, we go and serve. Okay. Now, <laughs> today I have a very interesting title. This is the title of the message. The, to the called ones. And I'll be basing from the book of Jude, chapter 1, verse 1. It is only one chapter anyway. And I'm still on the month of love, February. Let us start with a word of prayer. Stay expectant. Prepare your heart. Don't just ignore. Listen this message to the end. And ask yourself, why did this message come to me at such a time as this? Let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I adore you and I worship you for who you are and what you mean in my life. Thank you, God, for loving me so much. I cannot be able to repay. That's why, dear Father, I come. To give my time to my viewer and my listener, to be encouraged, to be inspired, to be motivated, and to have self-value. Father God, for them that have been deceived by the, by the enemy, and they have been abusing themselves, self-abuse, I pray that you may deliver them from such in the name of Jesus. I call them forth to being vibrant for you, God. And for me, you are servant, as I deliver this message, use me, O oh God, as a vessel. I humble myself. I pray that I may decrease as you increase. I lift you high up, Jehovah God, because you've said, if you are lifted up, you shall draw men unto yourself. Do only what you can do. I give you the glory and all honor, for you've said you'll never share your glory with any man. Take over. And for my few and my reason, I pray that this word will go forth and bring deliverance to know their value in you. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. To the called ones. This is what the book of Jude says. Uh, verse 1. I'm going to read from New Living Translation. It says, This letter is from Jude, a slave of Jesus Christ and a brother of James. I am writing to all who have been called by God the Father, who loves you, and keeps you safe in the care of Jesus Christ. February, a month of love. And I'm bringing you a topic of to the called ones. You've been called. You've been loved. God loved you and he called you. God loved you and he ordained you. 
God called you and he appointed you. God called you and he commissioned you. And in all these, it's never easy. But there is good news. You are under the care of Jesus Christ. Who loves you and keeps you safe in the care of Jesus Christ. You know mothers, they take their children to the daycare. They entrust their little ones to people they don't know. Only because they are licensed caregivers. But here, there, we are under the care of Jesus Christ, the Lord of Rods and the King of Kings. Because you are the called one of Christ and we are in the month of February. Know that whether you are going to get a Valentine card or not, a Valentine message or not, a Valentine gift or not, a Valentine kiss or not, you have been loved and you are under that care, that loving care of Jesus Christ. What else is better than that? What else is above the love of God? May I also remind you that February also is Black History Month in America. You are there, a person of color. You are put off when somebody says they don't understand you and you get offended. You don't want to, you, you don't want progress because somebody, you don't want to move forward because somebody says, I can't understand you, you have an accent. Yeah. Accent, you should be proud of it. It's your identifying, unique identifying DNA. You know, I'm from Kenya. I'm a Kikuyu. I am married to a Kikuyu. I'm from Muranga. My husband is from Nyeri. I, to me, he has an accent. Me, I, maybe he feels I have an accent. The people of Nyeri have this accent. S-H and C-H, they have issues. Why, why do you, when you come to America, people say you have an accent and you get offended? My brother, my sister, you have to know that you are loved and you are under the loving care of Jesus Christ. And that accent that you have will make you make the history in Jesus' name. Do you know that there are some people who, somebody, I think I've shared this again, but it's interesting. Who are just talking and saying, somebody asked me, do you understand English? And then I said, <laughs> not all English that I understand. Because don't argue. Some, some of these arguments are unnecessary. They are going to quasar you for nothing. Me for me, I say, you're going to seek to offend me. You might be offended before I get offended because I know who I am. I know who I am. I walk in power. I walk in miracle. I live a life of favor. Oh, oh, oh. I know who I am. When you know who I, you are, when you know who you, the care you are under, it is Jesus Christ. You're not going to be moved. Black History Month. You, a person of color, what are you doing? You, can you make history? We hear of Black History Month because people did something. What can you do today to be a history maker for the future? You tell me, Pastor Florence, I cannot be like you. Sure, even if we are identical twins with you, you are still unique in your own ways. What am I saying? As a mentor, I am here to mentor you to self-appreciation now. I am here to inspire you that there is something out of you that you need to give to, to the world and be a history maker. If you have never made any history, start making history and saying, Jesus loves you. That will be a history maker and put it in writing in Jesus' name. You know, one of the things I like and maybe these people think I'm funny. Like now, God forbid if I die like now, surely, even though this body will not be there, my legacy will still remain. I'll be a history maker. I'm encouraging you, be a history maker. As a mother, be a history maker to those kids. You know, when my son was in the first grade, I think it was about Mother's Day, and uh, he wrote, oh, it's all about my <laughs> all about my mom. And, so, you know, some things, it was, my mom liked to laugh. And they said, my mom can be funny. My mom read with me the Bible. My mom go with me to store. You know, those things, you know, because you know, if he had told me and not wrote it down in that booklet with funny writing, and he has a very good handwriting now, I would not have known the value that I instilled in him. Whether whether he grows up, he will follow in the ways of the Lord, and I decree and decree because he's the seed of my womb. I have made a history, and I could not have known it if he did not write it. Thank you to the teacher of Oxbow um, Elementary School. You know, their teachers taught them to appreciate, to write about their mothers on a mother's day. And up to now, he's now mature. He's 21. But if I, 
<laughs> Look at it and just that traffic. Can you make somebody love? And especially this time of Black History Month. Many people went through a lot. You know, I, I happen to be a member of a, of a, is it a organization or something or, or, or group. And I was introduced through networking. When Jesus cares for you, you'll care for other people. You don't just ignore. I was invited somewhere. And when I was invited, this person who invited me is very important and a very close friend of mine. Then another one also came whom I met and said, I have a business and you have to pray for it. And I said, now what am I going to do? I, I divided my timing. I went, put my stuff wherever I was going and through there, I got connected to this group. It's called Minnesota Brack Others Expo. They do these events every year. I did not know about it. Somebody introduced me. And then the message came so late. But I did not waste the time. To be a history maker, you must make use of the time well. Redeeming the time because the days are evil. I'm still talking about to the, uh, no, to the called ones. You've been called because the book of Jeremiah says, uh, the Lord knew you before you were formed in your mother's womb. And for you to be a history maker, you must get away with the fear and proxenation. Proxenation is thinking you always have time. This message I think came to me on a fourth, and then the deadline I think was the sixth, and I was wondering how on earth did they just give me, well, to better it than never, or delay is not denial. So the deadline passed on Friday, and then whatever was being required, it was so hard. I'm talking about it being history makers to the cold ones. I had to look for this number, and I called this lady. Now I saw this message very late. I said, that's okay. Just email it to me. You know, when you take an action, when you know you are the good, under the good care of Jesus Christ, even when you see something posted and it's expired, don't fear to try. Succeed. Now, what am I saying? Uh, with that, being history makers, I want to invite you personally as Pastor Florence. Because of that, Minnesota Brack Others Expo, they are celebrating their seventh, this is the seventh annual uh, event they are holding. It's going to be held in Brooklyn Park, Hennepin County Library on the 24th of this month. That's why I'm bringing about History Maker. The, the um, Hennepin County Library is featuring a book of Black authors. I feel hubbard. And they will, spot, they will be featuring 12 of them and I'm among them. On the 24th, 1.30 to 3.30 will be there. Each other, me included, we have been assigned six minutes to read from our book. How good is that? This girl from the village and be reading there, what am I saying? You can be a history maker irrespective of where you are because you are the called one of the Lord. These things I don't share to brag. You know, some people mistake me. You like to expose yourself. Yes, for the glory of God, the Bible aroused me says, if any man, let him boast because he knows the Lord. My brother who is called, my brother you who is called, you've been called to show the good works of our Lord Jesus Christ. Being a history maker, you must be able to do away with procrastination, do away with resonance, do away with assumption, do away with inferiority complex, do away with the superiority complex. Superiority complex is, in other words, it's like pride. Inferiority complex is nikuyaga, despite self-despising. May the Lord God bless you. I love you. God loves you the most. To the cold ones here. This letter is from Jude. And now I am here as Pastor Florence. Encouraging you to be a history maker. How can you be a history maker? You may tell me I cannot be an author. You may not be an author. I'm not a musician. You may not be a musician. But you can make a joyful noise unto the Lord. Because you've been loved. We all have something. Nobody was made to be nothing. Nobody was created to be nothing. Nobody was put in this world to be nothing. Read The Purpose Driven Life by Rick Wallen. A book you must not just read, but read as a reference and practice. You must have purpose in your life. To the called ones. You are the called ones. This letter is from Jude and he say he is writing a slave of Jesus Christ. I am a slave of Jesus Christ. I am reminding you that the month of February is month of history making. is the, the, the month of love that Jesus reminds us that he loved us so much. And so I believe by now 
when Valentine Day come and you don't get any message, you're not going to be down. Jesus is putting you up. The Bible says very clearly in the book of Isaiah, when the enemy shall strike like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up the standard. Ooh. God is in the business of lifting up the standard of his called ones uh, and putting them under the safe care of Jesus Christ. Here, this is to you, the called one. This is to you, the man and woman of God. There are so many things that are going on there that can put us down as people who preach. Let me tell you, the more the devil tarnish the men and women of God, the more personally I'm going to declare of the goodness of the Lord in Jesus' name. Why? He has done so much for me and I cannot tell it all. I have to take every opportunity and grab it in Jesus' name because he has done so much for me and I cannot tell it all. I cannot tell it all. I cannot tell it all. He has done so much for me, and I cannot tell it all. He has done so much for me. The ekete magenganya, the hota go tare diamode, the hota go tare diamode, the hota go tare dia. The ekete magenganya, the hota go tare dia, the ekete magenganya. Amefanya maajabu na siwezi kueleza yote siwezi kueleza yote siwezi kueleza amefanya maajabu na siwezi kueleza amefanya maajabu he has done so much for you. That's why you have ears you can hear. That's why you have eyes you can see. That's why you have legs you can walk. That's why you have a mouth to eat with. May the Lord God bless you. Father, I thank you for this word. Holy Spirit, water it to bear fruits of encouragement, of inspiration, of motivation in the name of Jesus to the fewer, to my fewer and my listener who is under the sound of my voice. May this message reach and be revealed to him or her in a way that he will be able to comprehend in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. He has done it to you. He has done it to me individually. You individually. That's why you need to confess the Lord. That's why you need to give your life to the Lord. That's why you need to tell the Lord, I surrender all. You are there. You have never made that personal decision. Do you want to say this prayer after me? Say, Lord Jesus, I come to you. Thank you for the reminder through your servant that I have been chosen, that I need to be a history maker, that I need not to uh, abuse myself, that I need to appreciate myself. Now I come, Lord. Forgive me the sins of procrastination. Forgive me the sins of, uh, of assumption. Now I give my life to you. Oh, forgive me my sins. Write my name in the book of life and give me a desire to grow spiritually in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, you've been transformed. The old is gone and the new has come. Now you must start walking in the newness of life. Two things are important. Testimony of what has happened to you. Write to me and tell me, Pastor Frodo's, when you are preaching up to the cold ones, I accepted the Lord. And now, show yourself to a servant of God who is near you. Only the servant who you will know that they preach from Genesis to Revelation and double check the word for yourself. That's why we are getting so much people being misread because they don't want to be feeding themselves. You cannot be spoon fed all through. The dish is there. The meal is here. I'm bringing it so that you can lead for yourself. Also look for a local church where you can be able to be a member. When you go there, don't just be a warm sitter. Look for something you can do. I go to Grace Fellowship in Brooklyn Bank, Minnesota. I am not a pastor there, but I minister there. I'm in the dream team. I'm in the guest team. I'm in the prayer ministry. My brother, my sister, there is some, always something you can do. May the Lord God bless you. I love you. God loves you the most. Remember my weekly schedule Monday through Wednesday Inspiration Word. Today is one of those days I bring you Inspiration Word. That's this kitchen celebration. Fridays, putting on the right gear for the weekend, Saturday, Sunday, you go to your place of worship. Remember to subscribe to my channel. Remember to share with other people. Remember to practice. Remember to pray for me. And I know God will bless you. And join us for the event in Brooklyn Park, Hennepin County Library. Meet other others. 
of your ethnicity and maybe you have wondered can i be able to write a book come and meet other people who started from simplicity if i did it you can do it if the lord god bless you and remember to celebrate every moment of joy because every moment counts every moment matters